depending on the gauge of the tractor you get, either standard gauge, which is our narrow gauge, or an LGP low ground pressure wide gauge, you've got several different options for blades. Uh, SU blades, universal blades, um, LGP uh, angle blade, LGP straight blade, um, you've got special blades for landfill, wood chip, several different options on blades. What we've done in general though, specifically on this SU, is uh, that the next gen D7 is a bit larger tractor. It's got a little more weight, it's got a little more horsepower, and so we've got a larger blade on it as well too. It's roughly 10% larger than the previous D7E blade, giving you a bit more productivity. Now this blade does have uh, a D8 style tag link system. So uh, the, the push arms, again, we use some D8 components on here, but we also have a D8 style tag link and tag link uh, uh, ball and sockets on here as well. So giving us some really good durability. Now what we like about a tag link blade in terms of an SU or a U blade is that it does get that blade closer to the tractor, right? So the tag link allows us to, to not need that L-shaped push arm uh, that we have on the D6 and the old D7E, but it gets that blade a little closer to the tractor, which gives us a little bit more penetration force, a little bit better cutting ability when you get into those, uh, those heavier types of soils. Also gives great visibility down to the back of the blade when you are doing spreading and grading type work, so you can see that material flow underneath that blade as well too. So very good, heavy duty style blades, multiple cell constructions, and several different options for wear plates on the blades, as well as rock guards on the top as well too. And then of course, several different cutting edge options.